Hey everyone, welcome back to Garden Fork. We are gonna make a, a classic simple recipe that I really like, just basically rice and beans. It's, um, it's August. It's August, so we're gonna make rice and beans. I don't know, I just was, last night, I was getting ready to go to bed and I said, let's do rice and beans this weekend. So, you know, I never do things at the right time of the year anyway, so. Rice and beans, super simple. Of course, it's a classic Garden Fork recipe. It's easy to do. We're gonna put a couple little things in it to make it a little different. Um, might be not different to the culinary experts, but you know, to the average person, we'll go, oh. Um, we're gonna use some classics, like a little bit of bacon. And we're also gonna put in a little bit of pimenton, 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 um, which I read about from Mark Bittman about a, I don't know, six months ago or a year ago, he wrote about pimenton and of course, all of New York had to have it. Um, it's smoked paprika, basically. It's a Spanish version of a smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. And there are different um, strengths, and this is picante, uh, which is supposed to be kind of hot, but it's not too hot because I tasted it, so. But this is really simple. We took black beans and rinsed them out. I use the, um, the dried beans. You can also use canned beans if you're uh, in a jam. We're gonna start with onion, and a little bit of bacon. We're just gonna chop this up. Where do we get that onion? Oh, we got this from uh, the local farmer's market, the Chubby, Bu Chubby Bunny Farm. Chubby Bunny. The Chubby Bunny Farm is a, is, you know, just have, they have a CSA. They also come to the farmer's market, super neat. They have oh. super chubby carrots too. Yeah, we had some nice carrots. Oh, I forgot we were talking about the beans. What I do, there's a bunch of different ways to cook your dried beans. You can soak them overnight. People talk about brining their beans as a way to go. I use the pressure cooker, which is here. Uh, you can also put them in the crock pot for the day, but I just started this a while ago. And we've got some great... Those are black beans? Black beans. And these are some uh, bay leaves that I put in there. And not red beans. Right. I like black beans over uh, kidney beans, but you know, it's just a personal preference thing. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take the bacon and just cut it into small pieces. What's this also called? This is, are they called? Uh, Bat. To, uh, to, I really tear with the onions, so what I do is I keep my onions in the refrigerator. And that, um, for me, it keeps the, I don't know if it's a sulfur or something that makes you tear, but it really helps so I refrigerate all the onions, so. Note my amazing technique here. So a little olive oil. Um, I don't think you need to use extra virgin olive oil for all your cooking. I, some people do. This is just regular olive oil here. A couple of gloves. One, two. And you might not even need that much olive oil, actually, because we're putting in the bacon. I just thought of that. So we'll see what happens anyway. Sure. It's an experiment, yeah. Is it hot? I'm having a sizzle. There's the sizzle. All right, so we're just going to rent, oh, we're going to render down the bacon. That's that word. About five, six minutes. You want the onion to be clear. Red bell peppers. Classic with uh, rice and beans, I think. So what I do to take out the seeds, I just grab this. Did you grow this? And I pull it out. No. No, we uh, went to the big store and bought them. garlic in so it browns faster anyway doesn't it because like we use the garlic press the garlic does brown really fast so yeah you can you can put it in later on if you were using just uh, chopped garlic you could put it in earlier because it takes longer to cook and has less chance of burning this is a little cilantro that we're gonna put on whose idea is that the boss and avocado I'm gonna add in some cumin from our food co-op and some of our pimenton, pimenton, all right? Two teaspoons of the pimenton or pimenton or... I like to move all the stuff that's in here away and put the spices right in the oil 
in the middle like that. Why? Um, it allows the oil to kind of smoky, make it even more smoky. It kind of toasts the spices. It's a, a lot of Indian food, they toast the spices in the pan. So I put that right in there. Like a heap of spice. Yep. Wow, that smells great. Is it burning? Uh, a little bit. Do you want it to? Not really. Pressure cooker cooked beans. We're going to take out the bay leaves. Six cups of water with a pound of beans. I think I should have used, um, I used one bell pepper. I think I should have used two peppers in here. We have to. But, yeah, I know, but I, was, I thought two would be too many, but now I'm wrong, which is not unusual. Okay, so we're going to warm this through. We're going to We're going to warm that. It still starts to bubble a little bit. Are you slurring? No. And then we're going to eat, All right? Oh, by the way, forgot, forgot. Uh, a little bit of red wine vinegar or balsamic vinegar kind of brightens the flavors. So you can also put in a little lime if you want. We're gonna have some sausages with them. That's yeah, good, right? This looks great, though. Smells really good. Really yeah, I wouldn't see that on the Food Network, would you? Okay, it's taste steam. test. It's steaming. It might be too hot. Yeah. You should make that too hot face. <laughs> Wow, that's really good. Are you surprised? With that piment and, and the bacon really make Whatever. a difference. Piment and, I think I put too much bacon in this. Oh, that's why you like it. Um, yeah, well, you know, that's good. And it's simple. Again, you know, a garden fork thing. You can really taste that, that pi is it pimenton, 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 maybe? Someone will tell me, I'm is sure. Is it like pimenta? Yeah, I guess, pepper. But there's a little bit of that heat you can get in the back of your mouth. But I like this. This is really great. And we use brown rice, by the way. We like brown rice. Um, avocado, a little cilantro. And then we're going to have some uh, sausages with this. You can say this is a summer dish. It's a, it's a whenever dish. I mean, I, you know. Summer I, here is like 70 degrees. I like oatmeal, hot oatmeal in the summer. So. You're weird. I am weird. Yeah. Make it a great day. Go cook.